Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Mr. Ezekiel here, and today we're going to be testing out the i7 13700KF, which is a 16 core, 24th processor. This has a TDP of 125, but can go up to 253 watts. Man, that's hot. Can the LS720 digital from Deepcool manage oh. to cool this hot CPU? This is 316 millimeters AIO. With that said, Please do leave your comments down below, like and subscribe, and let's get into it. Okay guys, we are gonna be testing this out first with software, and this is the ADA 64 Extreme version, but I just want to test out some temperatures. At the top is the temperature, and at the bottom is the load on the CPU. With that said, let's click start and explode this processor. Okay, okay, it's been three seconds and it's detected overheating. Oh, that's not good. It went from 41, 42 degrees Celsius to 91, but this is using 100% of its capacity. So that's actually pretty good. Somewhere deep down, I was thinking this could have crashed, but not really though, because I've seen people that have the size of the planet because they put an air cooler on these processors which is Bruh. I don't know what to say but it's been two three minutes that we are benching it and now we have four percent overheating detected but it does not go up from 93 nine oh oops jinx myself it's at 95 degrees Celsius now can you guys hear that the cooling fans are working at 2300 RPM revolution per minute. I can feel the air coming out. Oh, and it's coming out warm. Ooh, goodness, goodness, goodness. Yo, yo, yo. That is not, that is not the way you really want to do to your processor. But for the sake of YouTube, we're doing it. Over here, we have the current, the minimum, and the maximum temperatures it's it's at 95 currently the minimum was 45 a while ago and it's a maximum right now is 96 its average is 84 so that might give you a good idea and we're gonna stop this we're gonna stop beating the crap out of my processor thank you <laughs> you guys can see it dropping from 66 like a mere seconds now at 50 49 okay it's gonna take a little bit to cool off it's kind of mad at me okay guys now that we are done benchmarking this or testing it out in ADA 64 which puts a 100 load on <laughs> your processor and makes it cook I'm showing you guys a real-time scenario where we are not using every little thing about our processor as you guys can see right here we are using around 40 percent on our processor and it's only having 69 up to even 72 degrees celsius of temperature and why is that the reason behind this is because let's be real guys you guys will not always be using 100 percent of your processor if you guys did a little bit of research the ls720 digital has 300 watts or 300 TDP of like thermal power it's supposed to cool and even though we want to see low temperatures we have to try to get to the certain fact that our processors nowadays just have a lot of cores and a lot of threads so it's going to be uh not impossible but it is going to be more difficult than before you know just putting an air cooler or putting uh 120 millimeter AIO on top of it sometimes it's just not going to do the job the first one is a 100% load bench on the processor, and this is a real life scenario. Whether you're playing your favorite video game, rendering uh, something on Adobe Effects, or video editing, this is just to give you an idea of how good or how bad the LS720 Digital is. And I want to know your opinion, so please leave it down below of the video, and see you guys in the next video.